It was a sunny day last year in 2018 when Medina turned the screws on Owen Wright and picked up yet another victory. And what a track record for Medina back in the final once again. He's got that inside. He's not in the optimum position, even though he does have the inside. As we look at Medina slide in, not into the barrel this time. And so he's going to kick out. That'll then hand priority to Owen Wright. So Sang Owen getting the advantage because Medina couldn't find it any room to pull in there. These guys showing the signs of and awareness of how sensitive those situations are and the, the need for attention to it. Gabrielle. Under priority, pulls in deep yeah, under the hood. Comes out behind the spit. So smaller wave there, but perfect execution. And why not under priority? Even that you haven't been able to win the cat and mouse. Here we go, let's look. Travel time, spit comes out with the spit. Nice hollow wave. Um, can't wait to see where it scores. Water angle pumping, driving those first couple of pumps. See that? There's the, the knowledge and the sensitivity. Couple of early pumps here to get the speed, and then the control of the face to get the length of the tube. So some great understanding shown there from Gabriel Medina. Love how mobile he can be, and even a tighter space on a smaller two. Eight three on the average for Medina under Owen's priority. Looks like Medina is interested again. He'll swing and commit. Big wall on this one. Straight out the back, knowing that's not what he's looking for. And the quick in and out there is an indication that really he was trying to bait Owen into that. So he just took off, the baiting was done, and, and it was straight out. So always thinking, great way for Owen Wright. Owen commits, puts himself super deep. The Australian trying to fight through a big section. And he ends up going down. But really trying to max out the scoring potential. Owen Wright had to use all of that technical ability to come from behind. And one of the rare falls we've seen from Owen, especially on the opening exchange here in the final. Gabriel Medina's been doing it fairly consistently to Owen. But it, it's, it, I feel like it's not, oh, great inside ride. Nice late takeoff for Ooh, Owen Wright, staying wide open right back in this final. Owen Wright. After waiting a long time with priority for the 1.5, turns in a smaller insider, just like Medina did on the 483. Great positioning for the takeoff. Stands up, grows down the line, funnels off, spits, and out comes Owen Wright for what will be the best wave, I imagine, of the final so far. Love how he fades to really max out the tube time. There's that smooth, calm effort. And to those people who have never had a tube ride like that, people, our viewers, our fans out there watching, that is just a wonderful feeling when you're inside all of that energy. That wave has been developed by a storm. It's traveled across the ocean. Gabriel Medina. To answer back right into oh. the barrel, still traveling. Medina <laughs> comes out standing tall. And now this heat is on fire. Owens last 6 one seven to take the lead. Medina. Quick cancer back, only needed a 285, so a seesaw battle already. These are the two very best. A bigger wave here. Let's have a look. Pulls in, gets some long time in the tube. It's a bit sort of the exit isn't that clean and throaty and round. So that, that part of it to me might sort of detract a little bit, but the length of the ride, the size of the wave, and the positioning on it, 783 for Gabriel Medina. What a read for Medina total commitment of all this final that has to offer and understanding the different shelves out here. It's cool when Ace Bucket came here and broke down that inside reef compared to the outside reef as we look at the coil up staying high. Owen Wright now has a ton of room to get the exit. Chasing a 6.5 for first. The channel still letting out some cheers as Medina now has priority. This takeoff just stalls it, immediately gets sideways, pulls in for as long as he could. Again, not as long as Gabriel's, a little bit shorter. We'll see it from this angle. His control in the tube is, is just phenomenal. Gets the uh, exit clean. Exit, I, I, I feel like that one, the 617. Besides the size of that wave, the 617 might have been longer. We got to see the Heritage Heat last night. Damien versus CJ. Damien Hobgood getting the win. Two of the best goofy foots to surf this venue. Here comes Medina with priority. Ooh. A wide open barrel. Second wow. cave is solid. He'll fade. And go straight out the back right into a quick paddle to get into position. Steep. And deep, Gabriel Medina stalls off the takeoff, and look, it gets so throaty and perfect. Gets the second section. 
and, and was just feeling it so much that he was fading even before he was nearly coming out of the tube. There he is, racing, pumping, holding. So, so many adjustments inside the tube for Gabriel Medina. Will this be what the ride that sort of consolidates a final lead for the Brazilian and give him back-to-back -back victories after that one down in Jeffreys Bay? Such a great read and a lot happening inside the pit there. Started off high. Couple of pumps and then realized that next section was falling. So grabbed the face of the wall and just held on. Owen Wright. Owen Wright just pulls straight in as well. A solid Yay. effort for Owen. As he kicks out into daylight. Owen looking to better a 4-6. Last of Medina, 7.10. So Owen was requiring excellence on that wave, chasing an 8-7-6 for the lead. He'll still need a ride, I imagine, as we see him stall, pull in. Lovely tube ride, comes out clean. Very similar to Gabriel's uh, in a lot of ways. As we see it here, maybe a little bit smaller wave. Uh, takes off, pulls in. Never in doubt, never challenged, so controlled inside the tube. On the other hand, Gabriel had some adjusting and some things to do to try and maximize his time in it. Love that quick fade and coil of how technical is that takeoff to set up the pit VL? Yeah, well, he had time to do it, didn't he? Needs to turn this into a big score. Now chipping into this one is Owen Wright, perfectly deep. Let's him out for a moment, but he's forced to punch out the back because that thing was shutting down. Medina will chip in, keep that outside position. Now with 11.15 to go, this final is wide open. So much goes on in between the waves that are ridden, especially in this final with these two. Repeat of the matchup last year. Owen wants payback from 2018. Launches himself into a Watch solid out. cavern. Yeah! He comes flying out. There's the emotion from Owen Wright, because he knows he was ultra deep on that left-hander. 4.19 to go, a 7-2-1 puts him out in first. Have a look on the replay, stalls off the takeoff, pulls in, again stalling, great length, completely disappeared, came out, was stoked with it, and I feel like that 7-7-3 indicates to us that the judges, they're coming along for this party, the Owen Wright party, he could get the win here with this score, there it is. A 9-1-7 for Owen Wright and the lead off Medina. Wow! Best wave of the final without the priority. Steals it right at the end. There's some karma about that one from last year, but again, it's decisions. And if Gabriel Medina had stayed close to Owen, had gone that wave, he would have got the 9 one set. But let's not take this away from Gabriel just yet, my friends. Wow, he just got really quiet, Strider, because I think he senses more action to come. Owen Wright. There's that amazing rhythm he has with Chopo Tahiti. He'll celebrate another exit into the channel. Look at him feel it, Joey. The paddle, the strength, great ride. Great strider right in the face on that exit. In, in the turn of a moment, a couple of great scores from Owen Wright without priority, a couple of great selected ways. Well done. And he created that opportunity. And a while, Gabriel had something in his mind that he wanted. He wasn't sort of reacting. What a story for the Australian Owen Wright coming back in back-to-back -back finals. He got the rematch he dreamed of against Gabriel Medina. 9-1-7 and a 7-9. Owen Wright, your 2019 Tahiti Pro Chopo champion. And I think the tears are flowing for Owen Wright right now. It's been an emotional couple of years for Owen. Heartbroken last year. We saw in the play on the splashing of the water when he lost last year. This year, he gets revenge. Two great mates celebrating a fantastic final.